Hi guys, welcome to my new After Effects video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make icon morphing animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So friends, after finished video, I will share all project files for download. First of all, let's select this background layer and open inside. Let's open contents and rectangle one, rectangle pet one. Let's go to first second. Okay, let's click this icon for size and go to here, make size shape frame, go to first second. Let's try change size zero. And select shape frames, make easies. Let's move right and change size zero like this. Let's see. Let's go to solo. Okay, select shape frames, go to graph editor and let's select this graph, make smooth animation. Let's see. Okay, let's select this graph. Okay, not bad. Back to shape frames and let's unsolo. Okay, let's close shape frames and lock layer. Then let's create new null object. Go to layer, new and null object. And I will control all layers with this null object. For move to anchor point center, hold control, double click, pan behind icon. And let's select all layers. Let's link to null object. Okay. So let's select this layer one, go to solo. And let's open inside here. Open contents, rectangle one, and rectangle pet one. And in this time, make size shape frame. Go to here, and let's change size zero. And select shape frames, make easies. Go to graph editor, select this graph. Let's make. Smooth graph like this. And let's move to left. Okay, back to shape frame. Select last shape frame of right for slow animation. Okay, so let's unsolo and let's see. Okay. Okay, so in this time, let's select this layer 2, go to solo, let's click this icon for C background, and go to add, let's use team pads, open team pads here, and go to first second, let's change end 0, make end keyframe, and go to here, change end 100, select keyframes, make easies, let's see. Okay, select last shape frame, move to right. Okay, go to graph editor and select this graph. Let's make graph like this. Okay, back to shape frames and let's unsolo. Okay, let's select this layer 2, press U and select this end shape frames, control C. And let's select this layer 4 go to solo and go to first second control v let's see okay nice let's unsolo and select layer 3 go to solo okay let's control v for trim pads animation okay and select this layer layer 6 And press S, change scale 0, make scale keyframe. frame, go to here, change scale 110, go to 5 keyframes, frames, change 105, go to 5 keyframes, frames, change 100. Let's see. Okay, let's select this keyframe, frame, change 95. Let's select keyframes, frames, make easies, let's see. Okay, not back. Let's unsolo. Okay, so 
Let's select this layer 1, 2, 3, and 4, 6. Go to solo. Let's see. Okay, so and uh, let's select this layer 2. Let's move to right. Move to right again for timing. And select this layer 3. Let's move to right. Let's see. Okay, and select layer 4. Let's move to right. Move to left. Okay, let's move right. Move right again. Okay, not bad. And select this layer 6. Let's move right. Okay, not bad. So, let's unsolo all layers. And select this layer 5. And go to solo. Let's select this anchor point. Move the anchor point here. Click session tool. And go to first second, press S. Open scale, change scale 0, make scale keyframe, go to 10 keyframe, click here, write plus 10, and click OK, change scale 120, go to 10 keyframe, change 90, go to 10 keyframe again, change 105, go to again 10 keyframe, change 100. So, there's more keyframes for bones and smooth animation. Let's select keyframes, make easy. Let's see. Okay, not bad. Let's go to first second. Hold shift, press air. Make rotation keyframe and change rotation minus 25. Let's see. Okay, let's change minus 50. And go to here, change 25. And go to here, change minus 10. And go to here, change 5. And go to here, change 0. Select rotation keyframes, make easy. Let's see. Okay, that's good. So let's unsolo. And move right. Okay, not bad. Select these star layers. Let's link to layer 5. And select the star 1, go to last keyframe here. And press S, make scale keyframe, change 0. And go to 10 keyframe, change 110. Go to 10 keyframe again, change 95. Go to 10 keyframe, change 100. Select keyframes, make easy. Let's select work area and let's animation. Okay, let's hold control, double click, palm behind the icon for move the anchor point center. Okay, and select other layers. Hold control, double click, palm behind. Nice. And select the sketch keyframes, control C, select these other stars, control V. Let's see. Nice. And in this time, let's see timing. And select these keyframes, move to here. Select these other stars, press U for C keyframes and select this star 2, move to here and star 3, move to here. Let's see. Okay, select keyframes, move to left, move to left again. Okay, not bad. So, let's close keyframe settings and select this null object and let's press P. Go to first second, make new passing keyframe and move to down. In this time, go to 10 keyframe. Let's move to up. Go to 10 keyframe again. Move to down. Again, go to 10 keyframe. Move to up here. Again, go to 10 keyframe. Move to down. And again, move to up. Select keyframes, make easy. Let's see. Okay, not bad. So, 
Let's select these layers without background too. And also these stars and move to right. Let's see timing. Let's move to right. Move to left. Okay, that's good. So in this time, let's select this null and make new passing keyframe. Go to 10 keyframe. Move to down. Go to 10 keyframe again. Move to up. Again, go 10 keyframe. Move to down and again, move to up. Okay, select keyframes. Let's move right. Okay, there's keyframes for morphing. Let's select work area. Let's see. Okay, in this time, let's select this layer 5 and hide the layer. Select these stars, hide layer. And let's select this layer 1, open inside. And let's make new size keyframe and roughness keyframe. Go to 10 keyframe. For shortcut, you can use hold shift, press page down in the keyboard. And let's try change size like this let's go to solo change size like this and roughness okay let's see select so keyframes make easy okay say so keyframes and move right move right again Okay, let's unsolo. And let's go to pen tool and create new shape layer. Let's make one lines like this and hold alt make this smooth. Okay, so let's click fill, close inside color and move to here. Let's select pen tool, change points like this. Okay, not bad. Let's move to up. Okay, nice. And select this new shape layer. Let's go to add and open trim pads. Move right. Open trim pads one here. Change and zero. Make end keyframe. And go to five keyframes. Change 100. Select keyframes. Make easy. Go to graph editor. Select this graph. Let's make smooth. Let's say animation. Okay, not bad. So let's open shape one, stroke, and change butt cup to round cup. Okay, and let's move to up. Okay, let's click this icon for back to shape frames. Okay, not bad. Let's change stroke width like this. 20 and move to down so let's select this layer and layer one go to solo and let's select this shape layer move to here change one new and move to left move to left again and let's link to this layer new to null object. Okay, press U and select Jeffrey, move to left for fast animation. Okay, let's try chain stroke width like this. Okay, nice. Move to right.
Okay, so let's close JFrame settings and unsolo. Select this layer. Where is layer? Layer 2. And press U. In this time, make in keyframe and go to here, change end zero. Okay, nice. Let's select keyframes, move to left. Okay. And select this layer three, press U. Go to here, make end keyframe, go to here, change zero. Okay, select so keyframes, go to graph editor, and let's make smooth graph. Okay, select this and keyframes and make someone. Okay, not bad. Back to keyframes and select this layer 4. Okay, let's press U. Make and keyframe, frame, go to here, change zero. Select key frames, let's move right. Okay, that's good. And select this layer six. Let's press P. Okay, make new passing key frame, go to here, and move to up like this. Let's select shape frame, move right, select shape frames, make easy, go to graph editor, make smooth graph, let's see. Okay, back to shape frame, select this first shape frame, move to left. Let's move to left again. Okay, not bad. And let's open inside, open contents, shape one, and stroke one. Let's make stroke with keyframe. Go to here, press U for C keyframes, and change stroke width like this. Select keyframes, make easy. Let's see. Okay, not bad. So go to here and press N. Let's select full work area, select keyframes and close keyframe settings so let's select this layer 5 let's unsolo and let's press s make scale keyframe go to here change scale 125 and go to 5 keyframes change 0 let's see okay and let's select keyframes move right back to keyframes and Let's select this chain frame, move to left. Okay, back to chain frames and let's hold shift press R, make rotation chain frame. Go to here, chain rotation like this and go to here, change 25 or 75 and move to right. Let's see. Okay, not bad. Let's move to left and select these chain frames. Move to left like this. Okay, nice. So thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.